Here are a couple problems relating to traveling waves. The first problem asks, um, how many times uh, per minute does a boat bob up and down on ocean waves that have a wavelength of 40 meters and a propagation speed of 5 meters per second? So let's picture what's going on here. We've got um, ocean waves, so maybe those look something like this. We have a boat uh, sitting on top. Um, of one of these waves, at least sitting on top momentarily, right? And then uh, as the wave passes underneath the boat, the boat bobs down, and then the wave passes further and the boat bobs back up. So the boat is moving um, up and down in this way, right? That's what we mean by a bob. Right, so the question is, how many times does it bob per minute? Right? That sounds like a frequency. We're basically asking, what is the frequency? Um, but we don't know it per second, right? That's the SI unit. We want per minute. So we're asking, what is the frequency of um, this wave uh, in cycles per minute or bobs per minute? Right? So what are we given? Well, we're given a wavelength, which is lambda, right? 40 meters which actually is the distance between, um, let's see in red here, it's the peak to peak or valley to valley distance. So we're given this dif distance, that's lambda. We're also given the wave speed, um, right? So the, um, right here, the wave speed, Uh, which is a velocity, it's 5 uh, meters per second, all right? That's how fast the, um, the wave is traveling, right? So the energy um, that the ocean is transmitting here is traveling at uh, 5 meters per second. Okay, so how do we relate frequency and wavelength and wave speed? Well, uh, a very simple relationship. It's a velocity equals the product of lambda and frequency. All right, so you can plug some numbers in here. You have 5 meters per second equals 40 meters times a frequency. So if you solve that, what you get is 0.125 cycles per second. All right. Again, what we're wanting is cycles per minute. How many bobs do we have per minute? So I'm just going to convert this. Um, I want to get rid of seconds, so it goes upstairs, and then you want to, uh, minutes to show up uh, downstairs. So there are 60 seconds in a minute. So I'm simply going to multiply this by 60. All right. So what I get is 7.5 cycles per minute. All right. So my answer is 7.5 bobs per minute. The second question here uh, suggests that we have a wave on a string, um, a string under tension, um, and the velocity of that wave is 200 meters per second. And we want to know, how does the wave speed change if we double the tension? So again, what we're given here is that uh, the original velocity, so we'll call it V0, is uh, 200 meters per second. And we want to know if the tension in the string, so T sub S, is doubled. So T sub S becomes 2 T sub S what does the velocity become? So let's call it, um, I don't know, V2. That's the question. Well, how does the velocity change? So how do we relate um, wave speed on a string to, um, to tension? The answer is uh, velocity is the square root of tension divided by mu. And mu here is the uh, mass per unit length or the linear density. I'll just call it mass per 
unit length. All right, and if we're not changing strings, that is a fixed value. All right, so if we're not changing strings, that value doesn't change. Okay, so um, we could say this is one way to calculate v0. Right? v0 is the square root of ts divided by mu. Um, so how can we calculate v2? Well, we're changing, we're replacing ts with 2ts. So that's the square root of 2ts divided by mu. My 2 doesn't look very much like a 2. Uh, if we factor out um, this root 2, um, that'll make this uh, easier to work with. Ts divided by mu. All right, then we just need to recognize the square root of Ts over mu, that's what we called v0. All right, so we factored out this root 2, and now we're multiplying by v0. Well, v0 we had a number for. So this is square root of 2 times 200 meters per second. Um, and what we get there, v2 must be 283 meters per second. All right, so there are two things I want to notice about this. One is that um, increasing the tension increased the velocity, and that kind of makes a um, instinct sense. Right? It kind of makes sense that if the, if the string is more tense, the, the wave is going to travel faster. And the other is that doubling the tension did not double the speed, uh, which might be um, your instinct. Uh, but in this case, it's just, that's just not the way the variables are related. Uh, so we just have to be careful um, not to make those kinds of assumptions and to really track through the math.